Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer, and today on What's Cooking Wednesday, I'm sharing Mississippi pork roast in the slow cooker. This budget-friendly recipe is perfect for feeding a crowd and is an excellent choice to bring to a potluck. Not to mention it's so easy to throw together and pretty much fail-proof. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. So the recipe I'm going to share with you I actually made last weekend for my daughter Lily's fourth birthday. I invited the whole family over for dinner, cake, and ice cream, and it was a lot of fun. But I wasn't kidding when I said that this was very economical to feed a crowd. Because right now, my grocery store has pork shoulder on sale for 99 cents a pound. That's pretty cheap. And I've even seen it on sale as low as 77 cents a pound. So you can get a big piece of meat for less than $10 to feed your entire party. I actually cooked mine overnight the day before the birthday party. And then right before the party, I took it back out and reheated it. It was super easy and convenient and it tasted even better the next day. And just as a side note, you guys, if you're not a big fan of pork products, you definitely could make this with chicken as well. And I actually have a video on this. I'll go ahead and link it above if you'd like to check it out. And before I get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like easy, budget-friendly recipes. Now let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. I'm starting with an eight pound bone-in pork shoulder roast and you can feed about 20 people with this, but you can also easily cut this recipe in half if you're not making it for such a large crowd. To season this large piece of meat, I'm going to use two packets of brown gravy and two packets of Hidden Valley Ranch dressing mix. And I'm also using one stick of unsalted butter. This is gonna help make a yummy gravy. I'm also going to add about 15 pepperoncinis. Now this doesn't really make the dish spicy, just a little bit tangy. And that is it, that's all you need. I'm going to start by adding the pork to my crock pot. Now just as a side note, if there's any excess fat on your pork, you're gonna wanna go ahead and trim that off. Then I'm going to go ahead and add both packets of my ranch seasoning, just all over the top of the meat, followed by both packets of the gravy mix. And to this, I'm not gonna add any more salt or pepper. Then, using my spatula, I'm gonna go ahead and spread out the seasoning, just to make sure it's completely coating the top of the meat. Next up is the unsalted butter. You're gonna use a whole stick. Now, I know that sounds like a lot of butter, but this roast is going to serve a lot of people, and if you know the traditional Mississippi pot roast recipe, you'll know that the butter that I'm putting is actually reduced by half. So I went ahead and just sliced up my stick of butter, and now I'm gonna place the pads of butter all over the top of my roast. Next, I'm going to add my pepperoncinis, and you're going to want to add about 10 to 12. And even if you don't like spice, you're probably still gonna like these, because as they cook slowly, it mellows them out, and they're really not spicy at all by the time you're ready to eat this. And that is it, that's all you need. Now you're just gonna go ahead and place the lid on and then cook this low and slow, about eight and a half to nine hours. Now, like I said, I actually cooked this overnight. So when we woke up in the morning, the entire house smelled so good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the roast from the crock pot and take out the bone. And as you can see, it just pulls right out. This is so tender. So now I'm going to go ahead and break up the meat a bit. And I do like to remove any excess fat if I find it. And I also like to shred it up a little bit more, just so it'll fit better on our slider buns. And now for the gravy. I like to go ahead and remove the cooked pepperoncinis, and I don't discard those. I like to add them in with the shredded meat. And with the remaining gravy, I like to separate it out and strain it so I'm left with a smooth, flavorful gravy, which I then like to spoon over the meat. This helps keep the meat really moist and flavorful. You can add as little or as much as you prefer. And if you'd like, you could add more salt and pepper to your gravy, but for me, this is just fine. Now, there are so many ways that you could serve this meat. It would be excellent on top of some mashed potatoes, or with rice or even noodles. But my favorite way is to serve it on sandwiches. Mini sandwiches, to be exact. Otherwise known as sliders. 
for the birthday party, I served this meat on top of some Hawaiian rolls, and everybody loved this. And I also like to set out a bowl of extra sliced pepperoncinis so that people could add more if they'd like to. It's surprising how a dish that's so easy can be so tasty. Okay friends, now if you'd like to see even more budget-friendly Crock-Pot recipes, you can click on the link right up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link right down there. To subscribe, you can always hit my face right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.